Welcome to Sculpture Studios. We've been contacted by a near lesson from a company called Leap, and that's Love Europe and Partners. We've been approached with a character for a new Aqua credit card, and have been asked to bring this into the 3D world. Diving straight in, we're going to be creating effectively a master pattern and a mould simultaneously. In order to achieve the perfectly smooth credit card look that the client's after, we're using a plast wood and building up walls around the edges. We need to make sure that this mould pattern is strong and accurate, as these patterns need to match up with the other half of the mould, and they're actually going to be made twice as we're creating two credit card characters. These are going to stand about 5 foot tall and the rest in pro rata, with the eyes, the eyebrows, the feet and the legs added separately. We've gone into the mould with a release agent before applying a white gel coat layer. We've backed up the gel coat with glass fibre, extracted the fiberglass casts once the resin has cured, and trimmed off any excess material. We're just sanding down any imperfections in the surface, and if you're wondering why we haven't got footage of that, there's no time, we've got a deadline to meet. That's just my excuse for not getting the camera out. We've added blocks of dense foam to the inside of each shape, and this helps the body retain its form without the large fiberglass panels flexing inwards on themselves, and it still retains a light weight. The eyes and the eyebrows have been created in wood, and we've bolted these securely onto the body, and made sure to hide the bolt fixings afterwards. The indented mouth has been created using a wooden panel once again, placed on the inside of the mould before casting, and when the cast comes out, this is what creates that negative indent. Though there's still constructional work to do, we're going over with a white 2K car body primer, and this will help show up areas that still need attention. The feet have been carved from polystyrene, finished with a water-based plaster filler for a smooth finish, and moulded in two pieces using glass fibre. We've created four fiberglass casts from this mould, where they're then trimmed, the seam lines from the join in the mould are cleaned up, and metalwork has been created to go on the inside. Martin from Fine Limit Welding has created a nice solid plate here, and welded upright supports that will double as the character's legs. These are laminated into the job, alongside a little compliment slip, so anyone that opens these will know where they came from. Once all the construction sides complete, the two pieces need to be joined together, and the exterior seam line cleaned up, so this appears as one completely sealed unit. We noticed on the illustration, we assumed that both eyebrows were exactly the same, but we realised there's a slight bit off that side and a slight off that one, so that's a smaller eyebrow to give that surprised look. But we've only just realised that it, now we've started to um, scrutinise the drawing a bit more, so we can rectify that and make it correct. And visually, if it was too straight, you couldn't actually see the faces that well because it was upright. So no, we we put it slightly back. So it's at a slight pitch, a slight angle. So it's it's looking up at you slightly, which we, we think works a little bit better. But the whole thing in general is very strong. The laborious task of cleaning up now takes place. The squidge join on the inside of the job saves on having to clean up any exterior fiberglass lamination, but we still need to clean up any excess resin and the car body filler that we're going on with to make up the join. When we're happy with the finish, we go on with a final primer layer to prepare this for artworking. Following the reference the client sent us, Aiden begins to blend the dark blue, the light blue and the aqua turquoise colours, going over with each pass and building up in layers. This needs to blend softly, but still be as bright and vivid as the concept character. Though we have to get this as close as possible to the reference, the main thing is, each of our sculptures is identical to one another. Thank you.
Hi Aiden. Hi yeah. <laughs> I'm in credit here. It's <laughs> in credit. <laughs> there they are, all freshly lacquered. And the gloss lacquer on top of the base coat. The client's been down, had a little look, and seemed very, very happy with them, which is the main thing for us. As long as the client's happy, then we're happy. Metalwork running all the way through ensures that not only is this quite strong, but it's nice and stable, so that anyone that happens to come up and, and touch it and push it a little bit shouldn't go too far, unless they give it a proper big shove. Took a long time to blend it, though. Blend, these, blend the green between the blue and the light blue and the dark blue. Very soft, subtle colours on the credit card. Yeah, well, we got there in the end with the artwork after a brief change on the feet, but uh, the client seemed very pleased with it. Very, very nice indeed. We'd like to thank Neil Lesson from Leap for getting in contact to commission this project, and we hope wherever these card characters went off to, they were well received by Neil's client and the general public. Please feel free to leave any comments below, as they're always appreciated, and hit the subscribe button for our latest videos. You can like Sculpture Studios on Facebook and follow at Aidan Hines on Twitter. And for more of our work, visit sculpturestudios.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching.